everybody, Brad Greenfield here with another one of my Central Region Tech Time videos. And what we're going to go through today is something very simple, uh, very easy, uh, but can make a, a fairly large impact on some of the flyers or newsletters that we all do. Uh, and that's how to make a logo transparent, uh, specifically the UT Extension logo, but it will work with any logo that you're using. Um, so we're just going to dive into it. Again, just a real short video, and I'm using Microsoft Publisher here in this case. So, um, so I can get away from this white background, since the background of the image that we are going to use is white. Uh, I'm going to insert, click on Insert, and I'm just going to click a shape, and I'm just going to click a box there. So I'm going to draw, draw this box, and then to give it a color, I'm going to go up here and click on Shape Fill. And I am going to go with, how about we just go with green, okay? So now I've got this green box, and I want to insert a photo or an image into this green box. So what I'm going to do is go up, click Insert Picture, and then you see here I've got a folder with my UT Extension orange logo in there. So I'm going to select that and click Insert. All right, so we move this up here. Okay, so now we've got our UT Extension logo on here, and I want to uh, make this white go away so that this doesn't look, you know, it just kind of looks odd with that white background setting on top of this green background. All right, so what I'm going to do is make sure that I've got the picture selected, and then I'm going to go to the icon here that says Recolor. Let me back out a little bit so you can see where I'm talking about. I'm going to go right up here where it says recolor and I'm going to drop down and select this little arrow below recolor. Okay, So we select that and then we see set transparent color. So we click on that. Now we've got this pointer and anywhere we click on here is going to set transparent. So be careful with that. I'm just going to click on the white space one time and then click off of it and there you go. Now we've got a logo that's transparent. It looks good on that green background. Um, really shows up a lot better. It looks a lot better than the white background. Now if, if we did want to go back to the, trend, to the white background that we had in this image before for whatever reason, we'd just select the picture and then click control or, or press control T on our keyboard and we see that that will put that white background back in there and it'll also take it back out. Okay, so just to review, we've got our picture here. We want to make it a, a um, transparent background. So I click on the picture, make sure picture tools are selected up here. Let me scroll out so you can see what I'm talking about. Make sure the picture tools are selected. Then go to recolor, select the drop down arrow set transparent color, the very last option there, click on the white, and there you go. So, again, you should see the phone number, Twitter account, and email address for me there. If you have any questions or need to contact me, uh, please do. I look forward to hearing from you.